Hello? Anyone out there? Anyone? It's getting a little creepy! <laughs> Hello, everybody. And welcome to Laser Braves the Dark. Episode 2, or Night 2, rather. And this time, we are going to see if we can finish White Knight, where we had a little bit stuck before. But hopefully, with a little luck, we'll be able to complete tonight. So what happened last time? Last time we found out that William, the owner of this house, got a little bit crazy going on. And it looks like he's the murderer of a lot of helpless women in this little town that we were passing through. And these women are not very happy. Not at all. No, in fact, they are wanting a little bit of revenge for their murders. And apparently there's this other woman, Elizabeth. I think it was Elizabeth. No, no, Selena. Selena was her name. And this William seemed to be infatuated with her. That's pretty much how we know, we're just making way through the house. Selena seems to be helpful for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, let's move on. And let's resume the game. I really hope I remember these controls. I think E was interact. F was the light. No, it was either U or I. I'm gonna have to look up the controls real quick once we get in the game. Shift will just run, obviously. I think. This is all keyboard controls. I don't even have to touch the mouse once I press the load button. Hmm. Oop. Sounds like it's just about to load in. So how is everybody tonight? This has just the right feeling to it, honestly. Even though it's not the night before Halloween anymore. It just feels right. The atmosphere. All spoopy. All spoopy and whatnot. Forgot to post something. There we go. We only have four. Okay, I don't remember us having four matches. Nope, that is, uh, what was run? Okay, U was run. F was the, was the matches. I'm pretty sure. Oh, boy, we're gonna have to find more matchbooks, aren't we? Okay, well, we know there's some matchbooks over here. I, I think. I think there's some matchbooks still in here. Uh, the door is locked. Okay. Whoa, why are we... Oh, jeez. Oh, this matches. Let's grab these real quick. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that feels a lot better. Having nine matches. I thought we had more than those. And I'm pretty sure I know which button is the match. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay, there we go. It's enter. Okay. 
Now we needed to get in here and find ourselves a light bulb, if I remember correctly. Because there's a ghosty... Ooh, this is creepy. This is already a lot more creepy. Let's see. There's a, we need to get over here. But there's a ghosty girl on the sitting on the chair. We need to light that light. Now, we know there was something over here. This is really the only other place we haven't explored out in the hallway. Whoa, girl, girl, girl. Nope, nope, nope. You haven't? Okay, let's light another match. Is there something over here? We, we could... Open this. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Get away, get away, get away. No, 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 no. I'm in the light. You can't touch me. Can't touch this. Was there a chest over there? I thought I saw a chest. There's a chest. Okay, there's a light in here. That'll make things a little bit easier. Okay, I'm I'm actually turned around. Where am I going? Oh, okay, cool. We can actually look at things. A wooden African statue, man or a god, do not know. More photos. Vesper ink. Well, something got burned down. That's for sure. The mother of men, my mother. You allow me to be a man. Okay. Another one. No, no, freaking no. Ugh, I did not want to do that. Margaret and Henry Vesper. Two strangers pretending to be married. Is that what it's inscribed on the portrait? Really? And this is good old boss in the home of the bean and the cod, where the lols talk only to the cabots, and the cabots talk only to God. Okay. Okay. That's an interesting little thing. Now that there's no ghosty goo right here, we can, um... Is this shoe? Uh, oh wait, no, I've, I've already looked at this thing. A noble woman... A woman as noble as coal. These are some really strange, um... J, Jay's in the journal. These are some really strange descriptions on these paintings. One of the paintings had a name, Margaret Venter. The same as the grave outside. The woman's stare was as noble as a frozen lake and looked just as cold. Okay, what's so noble about... Okay, an, a frozen lake's pretty cool. Like, pretty. Is this Henry, the father? Hmm. Apparently. Uh, I don't know who would hang a picture of a headless woman. Probably the crazy person who stayed here. Okay, come on. Let's get in here. Ooh, what's here? News. What's in the news? Ah! <clears throat> Boston Bremens, June 6th, 1938. In these troubled times, one would dream about the glorious past of our city, about the founding fathers who built and strengthened its walls. There would be the Boston Brahmins, the bigwigs, businessmen, lawyers, and soldiers, whose sense of morality helped draw the lines of the city and give it soul. And what a soul! With them, Boston would be one of those many little towns of the East Coast. Thanks to them, in less than a century, it became the major economic, financial, and cultural center we all know. And while we can see those who will build the century, the century to come, the newly graduated from Harvard, symbol of the city's pursuit of excellence, let us keep in mind the spirit of those pioneers, whose clear speech inherited from New England, still sings in the T.S. Eliot's poems and in the voice of Catherine Hepburn. Eight years ago, Malcolm Nicholas resigned from office. He was the last of the Brahmins, the last Republican to hold the mayor's office. But it is still here, the noble blood in which the built roads, schools, churches, courthouses, and hospitals. An economic crisis, no matter how dire it is, will never wash away their dignity. Dateline, June 6th, 1938. Okay. That's cool, or I suppose. European Mountains. 
Here's this chest I saw. I can open it. Uh, okay, I need two hands. Can I just run enough to... There we go. I'm still pretty sure that my, my light is on the step counter. What? Is this a quick time event? Oh, it is. Oh, I'm not like that. I don't like that setting up. What is this? Whatever the picture, it will always look back at you. I don't like the crinkling in my ears. Books, books, books. What's this? The light bulb had nothing to do here. Why? Where was it stick? That's an awful big light bulb, I'll be honest. Okay, let's hop over here. Okay, we're gonna need a we're gonna need a light. You gotta be okay, good. I thought I, I thought I wasted a thingy. Let's get in here Oh freak I wrong side of the door. Let's get, Okay, I know you're in come on. How do I... Can I be let in? Why, thank you! So kind of... I swear, if I have to light another match... Can I... What is that squealing? Okay. Let's put the light bulb in the thingy. Craters that look like the mo Ooh, that's cool. Okay, let's kill the ghosty. Bye, lady. Cool. Now we can investigate over here. Oh. The victims were all women from the lower classes. Already bled dry by the depression. Who could be collecting these kinds of clippings? Obviously the man who... Oh, hey, there's a thingy here. Victim's note. Dear Mom, please don't worry. Robert's salary was cut by 50%. Victim's one of ten? This game may be longer than I thought, but he should be able to keep his job. That's how it goes with the crisis. Even if it means we have to live with 20 to 25 bucks a week. I try to barter, and I do a few things here and there in exchange for food. To avoid wasting gas, I cook several meals at a time. I collect used clothes and stitch them back into shape, and of course, I only buy bread when it's one day old. Oh, okay, well, so you, you wait, you buy the older bread. Okay, that makes sense. I, th I was thinking, like, you're getting bread... You were getting bread that was like, okay, no, 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 I, it can't be two or three, it has to be one day. No, never mind, it makes sense. At least when the bread is hard, the boys don't gobble it up in no time. But we are lucky. Neither of them got sick. Winter is coming, though. <laughs> Last week we went to the cinema with Paul and we saw the Blue Angel with Marlene Dietrich? What a woman. Here are the five dollars. That's the best I could do right now. But we'll soon be with you. Take care of yourself. Beth Rogers. Why would you go to a movie if you're strapped for cash? That does not seem very wise. What is this? More pictures. What do we got? Hmm. This seems like a strange picture to be taken. Okay. What about over here? What do we have over here? Let's light a match. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, I better find some matches soon, or otherwise I'm in big trouble. Oh, there's a ghosty. Are these... Coffins? Holy crud, these are coffins. Margaret Vesper. Okay, okay, hold on. Before we do this, we, we can't... We can't do... We, we gotta go back. We, get, we have to find more matches. We can't explore anymore if we don't find any more matches. Like, legitimately, we are going to get stuck out in the dark and be able to go nowhere. There has to be, like, this match is up here, wasn't there? 
No, oh, boy. Please, please, please. Thank you. Nope. Are, are, the, are, are these matches? No, okay. How in the world? Okay, there's no one over here. I killed the ghost over here. Are there only 10 ghosts? Can I? What happens if I turn this light back on? Oh, they knocked over. Okay, please let there not be a ghosty here. How many ghosts have I killed? Um, have I? Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, this is a problem that I was really hoping I would not have to deal with. There's got to be more matches around here. I am totally going to die if there's no more matches. <gasps> matches! Four more. Okay. Now let's use these matches to go back and explore the kitchen dining area. Because if this game is, is I, as I believe... This is locked, isn't it? The matches should respawn. Hopefully. And there's, there's no more ghouly ghoul in here. Freaking... Thank you. Okay. I think I've ki okay. If if there truly is no match, it okay. There should be some in the kitchen, actually. Oh crud! You're a wandering ghosty ghost. Let's just get away from you. Let's go into the kitchen. Yes, matches. Did that say 40? There's 30. Why are there 32 matches right here? Um. I don't like the music. I'm going to run right into a ghost, aren't I? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so there's a wandering ghost. Please, 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 please. Just go away. Thank you. Please and thank you. Come again. Not. Okay, okay, okay. Back in. Back in here. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We'll run in here. And let's go save. Because I don't want to have to do that again. Why is there 32 matches in the freaking kitchen? That feels like more like a glitch in the game than it feels like intentional. Okay. So I've got to go through the dark library again. Let's, let's try to conserve it. Oh, I cannot see. No. I cannot run in the dark and these alternating um, camera positions. Okay. Okay. I really don't like these third person cameras. Like, just these locked camera views. Okay. Oh, freak. Can I see you through the door? I can. Great. Now we have wandering ghosties. Just wander right by. You should be far enough away now. Oh, I cannot see. Okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yada yada yada. What, what, what? We have a diary from William Vesper here, the murderer. Mother's burial was yesterday. While everyone was crying, I was cursing her as I watched the coffin slowly lower under the ground. Why would you do that? It was like a dark celebration. She's back where she belongs, and Earth itself does not care. It is not afraid of her. It has no ears to hear her scream. No skin to endure her beatings. But during the night, in my room, as soon as I blew out the candle, I felt a breath close to my ear. Then I heard her voice. I will save you. I screamed. Sarah came to see what was happening. I asked her to sleep close to me. I dreamt of mother the whole night. 
She was walking silently in the house with her blind eyes. She was waiting behind the door of my room like a wolf. Dr. Rosenthal says that can happen with warning people. They, that they make things up. For me, it is out of fear. I don't make anything up. Margaret is still there. Margaret wasn't one of the names he murdered, though, was he? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, freaking ghosty ghost. Uh, was it electric panel I saw in the kitchen? Oh, well, hello. Did, did, okay. Oh, 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 hit the button. There we go, got you both. Yeah, I did see an electric panel in the kitchen. Dang nabbit. What's this? Another bloody note? Victim's note number two. Dear Dr. Mallory, I went to the clinic to visit James. He's so weak. According to the doctor, this is the result of belladonna enemas. Ugh. Anyway, when he saw me, he started crying. It broke my heart. I'll ask them to stop the withdrawal treatment as soon as I soon won't be able to pay for it anyway. But I do not, I do swear not a single drop of alcohol will make it home. He could find a job. It's all because he had nothing better to do. I'm going to Black Lake to meet his uncle and ask him to hire me as a waiter. We have no choice. We have to give it a try. I know what you'll tell me, but I can't see him like... He was today anymore. Thank you for everything. One day I'll pay you for what you we still owe you. Jesse Graywood. Okay. Okay, fine. Light a light. Pretty sure I met a few of them. Who? Are you a local guy in this town, buddy? What's this? Margaret Ventercross, mother of William, the cornerstone of the family. Tell she was stricken blind. What does this switch do? Okay. Well, there's that. But what's up here? Oh! Selena, don't do that. That scared the bejesus out of me. Like, climb the stairs. Oh, jeez. Contrary to me, she knew where she was going. I decided to follow her, hoping for the best, expecting the worst. Okay, hold on. First of all, I found some mound matches. I'm not too bad off now, and I know where a bunch more are. Let's go check the um, area that was blocked off. Stop it. There we go. There's Still the ghosty goo around here, I'm pretty sure. Did I read this? Uh, yeah, I did read this. What is this? Note to self, hiding places. Margaret is easily angered and wreaks havoc in some rooms. I had to hide the house keys to prevent her from taking them to one of her dark places. She used the opportunity to set up her nests near some of these keys. So I had to keep... I had to give them away to her. Her arrow is getting stronger by the day, so I have to think. I f so I have to think and find a way. Okay, I can't go in that door yet, and it looks like I don't want to. Three coffins were just unearthed. The putrid smell that floated around me covered this. Ugh. Why did you not smell that earlier, dude? It was just behind the door. Lock cellar door was just an, oh why would I want to go into the cellar? Why do I need to go into the cellar? Because I know I will have to go into the cellar eventually. That's how this game plays. We're gonna go to the second floor. Are you kidding me? We'll have to go to the second floor. And then we'll have to go to the attic. 
and then the basement. Or if this game really wants to elongate itself, it is going to have me go up to the attic. Or is it up to the second floor, then the basement, then the attic. What? Yes, I want to go upstairs. I'm going to fall in the cellar, aren't I? Okay, now it's just the loading screen. Okay, we're good. She had climbed the stairs like a diva heading back to her dressing room. Me, I was barely able to stand up. And I was trying to follow a star in the midst of black holes. I never felt so relaxed. Maybe you, this guy's more hurt than we thought. End of chapter two. I wonder how many chapters there are. Oh, I wish someone was here to be chatting with me. This wouldn't be so bad if there was someone here. There's a reason why I am streaming this. Huh. One star can be enough. I'm waiting for the ghost. Oh, shoot. That scared me. Look more like a warning sign than a faith. Okay, well, that's not good. On the door of the side of the stairs, if there's some attempt to ward off evil, it was clearly a failure. Margaret was lying on the floor, as if she had fallen from her rank. There's a lot of freaking coffins around here. At any moment, I could encounter who on earth freaking unearthed these coffins. Okay, cool, but this... You gotta be kidding me. Hold on a second. I, I know that, but there's a key right there, isn't there? I don't know. Maybe not. There's a door here. I want to grab these matches first, though. Um. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here. Cool. Give me. Just give me, give me into a menu so I can look. Oh, peace, finally. Okay, cool. I, I wish I had that kind of peace. Well, actually, no. No, I don't, actually. Matches. Cool. There's something else here, though. What's over this way? Fudge! No, 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 no. Run, run, run! Okay. Oh, hey, a Henry book. I, I missed this. The day I touched your cold hand for the first time, I know we'd never love each other. I'm surprised you could actually give birth to a creature as kind as William. Oh, Henry was... Oh, Henry the father. Okay. Actually, I like to believe life chose the best for him. In spite of everything. In spite of you. Jeez. This is a, Henry, a letter to Margaret? Not a good idea, buddy. I don't have much longer to live. Okay, you know what? Deathbed. No. Okay, it makes sense. I'm dead already for you, so be it. But I need to write about the future, about William and Vesper Co. I have passed my instructions to my old friend and assistant Jack Winterstone. My father will all, has always wanted that the head of the company would be a Vesper. William, my only heir, is but a child. You will have to replace me at the board, and I trust you will handle it like a true Vesper. I don't trust you. But William still needs his mother. Wait a minute. Um. I guess Jack. It, okay, this, this is a weird sentence. I don't trust you. Like, you trust her with the company, but not with, with William? Okay, I guess that makes sense. I have asked Jack to make sure he'll never lack anything. He will visit you every week and will have all authority to take my son from you if he notices you do not fill your obligations properly. But I remind you that without my wealth, your family is nothing but a once glorious name swallowed by debts. Ooh, jeez, dude. Pretty harsh. I can only hope my death will free you from some of that anger and that I will make you a better woman. Goodbye, Henry Vesper. Ooh. Is this door open? It is. Okay, what, what's what's in here? Press the light. It's not gonna work, is it? Feeling her so close was overwhelming. Whoa! For a moment, I was a teenage boy again, witnessing a woman's magic for the first time. 
She was beautiful and classy, like an angel who had fallen to earth. I tried reaching out to her, but to no avail. I had to find a way to get her to see me. I had to find a way to enter her world. I think that's not a good idea, buddy. Like, the only way to do that is, I'm pretty sure, death. Uh, what popped up? A uh, great mirror. Facing her reflection as it was frozen between two worlds. I was the only one to bring her back to reality. What was she waiting for? Was something missing? Okay, well, at least you're like a light there. Oh, another William Diary. Yesterday, Luna had abandoned me. The sky was bottomless. I tried to fix the house wiring, but I ran away. Only the smoke remained. I went to town only to learn that Selena would not sing that night. Damn the bad luck. So I drank. When I was drunk, I sat by the piano, as I would at home. I improvised the jazzy lament, and when I raised the head again, she was there, holding a glass in her hand. Something burst inside of me. She started to sing, encouraging me to keep playing. Then she said, I already met pianists with golden fingers, but yours are made of flesh. There is a lot of humanity in your touch. You are talented. We drank the whole night and spoke of the past. She ended up crying. I don't know what to do. Her face was attracting the light like a crescent moon. Now she wants me to play for her on stage. With her, I'm so happy and crazy. Sick from two months drinking. Okay. You know, I'm thinking. If Selena was killed by William, shouldn't she be the same dark spirit that's haunting this place? Attacking... I'm going to assume attacking men, but... I mean, the only, the ghost thingies have only been attacking me. And I, I'm a guy in this game, so I'm assuming attacking men. I don't know why they would have anything out against me specifically. Actually, do we even know our guy's name? I don't know. What's this? Scrawny body was rotting wound over the landscape. Okay. Ooh. Celebration of woman or an obsession. These drawings were nevertheless beautiful. What's in this corner? Nothing. Matches? Cool. Matches. Give me matches. Thank you. What is over here? Ooh, is that another... Oh, Selena book. California by Selena. <clears throat> California, your salty flowers have curled my hair. There I found the key of the world. I don't know how to do jazzy. I made a woman out of a girl. Dancing, I look straight into your flaming heart of pearl. Dad, Mom, it's all true. Watch me leave through the fiery gate of the stage where I find my fate. And my songs turn the crowd mad. Miss, they shouted ardently. You are beautiful, how earnestly. You scare me, I say, lion, give me more of the champagne. The sparkling wine that makes me sing like a nightingale at least free to fly San Francisco My skin whitens under your flashes. Let me sing your echo. Los Angeles lead me to heaven. Among your angels pour in my glass diamonds and honey. Give me the crowd almighty like a drink of silver, for my foreign lips still bitter. Nothing is too much, nothing like that touch. I know this is not heaven. Give me angels, give me the crowd, give me the crowd. Huh, that's interesting. What's this called? California. Hmm. Interesting. Well, Selena, you'd like to sing that for me so I know how the tune goes? Is that a hat? I was hoping not to meet him. Hmm, okay. 
We don't know really the time frame or this dude's name. So, he could be anybody. Modern fashion. What's a... Hey, another Selena book. From Selena to William. I always remember 1936 as the year I discovered jazz clubs in Harlem. The Savory Ballroom and the Radium Club, the Log Cabin, the Cotton Club, the Theatrical Grill, with Ellington, Henderson, and Calloway, Armstrong, but even though I dated a color man, I'm not one of them. In America, white people still hang African American. Ooh, I forgot about that. Roosevelt and the New Deal won't change a thing, William, because your country still tries to cure an imaginary disease by mutilating itself. One night, Jim encourages me to get on the stage. I'm drunk and sad, so I sing a stav, a folk stum from home, the same song I sang for you last time. But I improvise around the theme in a very jazzy way. After I stop, there is silence. I'm about to collapse. I feel dizzy. And suddenly, the crowd bursts into applause, and they go on cheering me as if they will never stop. It's because of that song that I'm nicknamed the Little Northern Star by Armstrong. Dear old Lewis, so far away today. Was Selena... Um, African American? Or not? Among them I could see Selena. Hmm. Many photographs looked old. Woman of family maybe? I'm going to assume Selena is the nude ones, do. Was strongly bound to textile world. Okay, you know, that one makes sense. But hello. These are pictures of real women, and that kind of creeps me out a little bit. More photos to look at? Find a line between all these faces, but to no avail. A link. Link, not a line. Okay, let's check this side of the room. I already looked at that. Can I light this candle? <gasps> I can! Did, did I? Okay, good. Now I can rest by the candlelight. Sweet. I just noticed that face. That face is freaking me out a little bit. Let's turn on a little thing and look over here. Empty head, devoid of memories. I felt close to that doll. Okay, why? You know, the further I get in here, the ghosts seem a lot more aggressive. Uh, there's going to be a ghost over here, isn't there? This is the hallway. Uh, traces with the putrid remains of darkness. That doesn't seem like a real thing. Of a young man with unexpectedly delicacy. Oh, hey, look. William. Tonight I again woke up with a start. I felt like there was a weight. There's 25 of these things? Okay, this is a lot longer game than I thought. The shadow seemed to condense more and more because of the hatred. Her hatred. That wrench will never leave me in... Wretch. Wrench? Wretch. Leave me in peace. I tried to turn on the light, but the feud just tripped once again. As I was reaching for the matchbox I kept under my pillow, I felt... Dear God, I felt the tip of her nails on my arm. I screamed and fell out of bed. Then I remembered the matches I kept in my pocket and my pajamas. Why didn't you reach for those ones in the first place? As the darkness that were lurking below the bed started crawling along my legs, I started scratching the matches and... And it felt as if the room started to inflate. Returning to its original size. I couldn't sleep anymore. I went to town. Once again, I had to do something. But these moments of peace are getting shorter and shorter. Jeez. I, I honestly don't know if... William is the victim or not. Mother's birthday was yesterday. She harassed me all night. Her insect-like voice and insults drove me crazy. Then as I was sleeping, the beating, the scratching. Where were you, Luna? You have been gone for nights. I jumped out of bed, took the car in town. I saw the lonely girl stumbling on the sidewalk. 
Her hair was black, a color I abhor. I opened the car door. She was drunk and chilled to the bone and got in. The knife was beneath my seat, so I didn't have the sh I so I didn't have the strength to do it. So I brought her back here. As I write this, she is tied in mother's favorite seat. Okay, he he's he's not the he's the victim, but he's also a psycho. Fear has made her dirty it already. I don't know where to start. After putting on my mask and a suitable outfit, I started cutting her. Ooh. Blood flowed. I felt nauseous and walked out to puke. It wasn't enough. Luna didn't react. Meanwhile, Mother and the Choir of Shadows kept mocking at my defeat. Wicked child, shame to your blood. <laughs> okay, well. So, it looks like he was trying his best. There's a ghost over here, isn't there? There's a ghost sitting in that chair. Right... Nope. We have other doors we can check. Okay, I did. I, I wanted to use the door. This one's locked, isn't it? All the doors are going to be freaking locked except that one. Okay. It seems my matches don't go out as fast if I if I walk. But again, I don't know if that's. Oh, hey, another another door. Nope. So many more rooms to explore. I think there may be a walking counter and then the match goes out. Nope, nope, nope. This one, the one with scratches on it. This is a bad idea. Um Someone wrote a final letter and then came the dust. Margaret. Ooh, this is the first one we... No, this is the fifth one for Margaret. Henry firmly dug his fingers in my wrists. I couldn't move and I saw... God, with a sword bearing his steel star. Fear left me and I started walking away. Dragging Henry out of bed. He fell to the ground and his head hit a vase. As he was moaning trying to keep blood from flowing from his open head, I talked to the shadow in him. You think you scare me? I don't fear you anymore. I think if you think you have a place in this family, I'll disappoint you. Henry, you can have him, but you'll never have William. Henry started crying. His eyes rolled as he was calling for his mother. God, how disgusting a madman looks. Dr. Rosenthal diagnosed abrogated syphilis, contracted God knows where. I wasn't surprised. He told me to prepare myself for the worst. That he would have other attacks. Doesn't matter. I care only about the future. About William. He could still be saved and with him, the dignity of this house. This is my mission. I will give it all. Oh, this is Margaret. Oh, this is the wife. Or the mother. Is this her room? Okay, cool. What in the freaking world? Creatures from a no origin celebrate William's seventh birthday. Okay, well that's probably I don't what in the Who wears a Cthulhu mask for their birthday? In the nineteen thirties. I mean nowadays it probably isn't so weird. I don't like the idea oh another thing from Margaret. I haven't entered his room since the first attack. Today I went to visit Henry after my prayer. I expected to find him broken down, wrapped in the stent of death. On the opposite, he looked peaceful, and the room was clean. The servants were taking care of him like a child. When I asked him how he felt, he laughed. You are a dark son, Margaret. Your being here doesn't bode well. I offered him to pray with me to share what he had on his heart. He answered... You can't share anything from a locked chest. God is open for you, I told him. I'm only his vessel. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got the creepy religious mother and wife. He started reciting the Bible. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. Then he added, This is what the world is to me now. 
It also says the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters, I tried. He laughed. You are filled with his spirit every day. Look at you and tell me it's not poisoned. I left him. His soul is dead. His body will soon fall. Oh, man. I I don't know who the good guy is. Or if there even is a good guy. Um, okay. Huh. What is on the bed? Okay, hold on a second. Oh, I need a good dateline. I need a good dateline to freak me, keep me from uh, freaking out a little bit. <clears throat> dateline, June 6th, 1938. Fall of Vesper. A landmark of Boston. Vesper had managed to navigate the waters of a collapsing economy without harm, and people thought they were made to stand the test of time. Yet today, as the American industry is recovering under the new deal set by Mr. Roosevelt, shouldn't that be President... One can hardly overlook the signs of a planet mining Vesper. Job cuts, failed deliveries, board members, resignations, unjustified foreign investments. The company seems to be falling on itself, and many long-term employees are starting to worry. As of today, William Vesper, hair and current CEO, still refuses to comment on the situation. Let us hope this is only a temporary slump. There's a freaking body here, isn't there? Oh boy. Oh. No, 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 no. I need a light, especially right here. Okay, cool. That has to be a body. That has to be a body. A child drawing with the word dad. That was the body of Henry. Oh, oh, okay. I'm not so freaked out about. <sighs> Oh, shit. Shit. Okay, just read the book. This is June, but I can't tell what day it is. I'm not only losing my mind, I'm losing my memory as well. My father left me two things. One of the biggest companies in Boston and this disease that corrupts my blood weakens me and keeps me away from my family. When I come out of these manic episodes, I feel empty, exhausted, and convinced that it is only a short break before the next one. What really breaks my heart is that William sees me in the state. Despite all my efforts to spare him the worst of it, his affection for me hasn't changed. And I love him more for that. As for Margaret, she finds me disgusting and makes no effort to hide it from others. She's not a wife. She's not a mother. She's a wolf, only waiting to tear you to pieces the moment you fall to your knees. I'll fight to the end just to show her. Bravery is not the result of a strict education nor the legacy of a long, lost, glorious past. Bravery is facing hardships while remaining true to yourself, and I'm not lacking in the matter. I hope William have figured it out as well. Please. Um. Lady. I know you're right there. Around the table. No one's noticing. Why the freak is this door closed? Okay. 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 Can we close the door? We can't close the door. That's fine. Let's go save in this room. Let's go save in this room. I am freak the heck. I am freak the heck out. I don't want to do that again. Oh, jeez. Okay. Selena, are you there? Aw, oh, fudge, Selena. Are you guys gonna appear right again? You are. Where are those freaking matches on the floor? One match? One match is all I got? I am so gonna die. Uh... 
Okay, I've got to walk with purpose. Oh, Jesus, just uh, freaking scared me. Okay. The only other room left is this one. And if I try to go the other way, it's going to be a ghost. What would such a woman need? An object for something precious for her? There matches. Okay, let's look at Henry's. On the threshold to madness. Oh, this is Henry's to William. William, my son. That you would see me leaving as I am now is breaking my heart. I admire your courage. I admire your courage and I don't know how to thank you for seeing me as your father all the way to the end. Not as a sick man or a madman. I'm tired. My fingers are shaking yet. There are so many things I'd still like to tell you. Death, of the ter Death is a terrible thing, William. It makes us weak. Cowardly. It takes everything. Hi, Pumpkin! Thank you for being here. I was starting to really get freaked out. <sighs> Do not trust your mother. Listen to her. Be obedient, but never trust her. The day you turn 20, you'll become the head of the Vesper factory. Although young, you'll be able to rely on precious and wise advisors. Always listen to Jack Winterstone. You already know him, and you will learn to appreciate how valuable a friend he can be. You'll be free from then. Free from her. I need to sleep. If you're ever in doubt, play the piano. I will hear you. Oh, man. So, Pumpkin, were you, were, were you here last time I did the spoopy stream? I can't remember, honestly. I know Xander was here. I, th I think you were here. Juggling a long-ass video for class, aside from paperwork. As long as you're here, you are a <gasps> ghosty ghost. But I need those matches. Okay, let's try to sneak by her. I really need these matches. I'm almost out of matches. Oh, there's more. There is more. Freaking more. Yay, matches. Okay, good. I don't have to explain anything then. Let's go ahead and grab this vote. We just started grabbing and picking up notes from murder victims. So, that's fantastic. I can't tell really who the victim is. William was being tormented by his mother after death. Henry was being... Oh, man. Henry was being just like wife was not being good to him. That was that was Margaret, and that was the mother as William as well. Um, and then we got a note from Margaret where apparently she's the creepy religious stereotype. Um, where uh, <laughs> where she um she's trying to save Henry. From his dark self, I, oh, I don't know who's in the right. I think Margaret's in the wrong, though, considering she's the one that's the freaking dark specter. Tonight, my little caddy, you will go to Blacklight and you will swallow all these pills. If you have any second thoughts, read this note once again. You already tried several times, but you were too weak. What's holding you back? Leonard is gone. He must have found a new job, a new woman. He's happy without you. You've been judged, laughed at, condemned. You have no one, and you are so lonely. Even your last words are for yourself. Oh, this is a note. Okay. Your future is only darkness and ashes. Look straight into the night and open your eyes. This is your future. You have to let it go. Do it for yourself. Joan Bennett. Oh, man. Though, on the other hand, we did actually get a note from William confirming that he did tie uh, a woman. Oh, are these... These are more stairs. Well, hello, ghosty lady. I'm not going to go over there. Just sneak around you. I just needed these matches. Freaking dang it. I do not have a matches. Oh, here's something that you missed. There was no matches in the entire... I swear, this has to be a glitch. But I, there was no matches in the entire house, and I was running all the way to try and... Um, Try and find some, and wouldn't you know it, I found some matches in the kitchen. Really difficult to get to, considering there's wandering ghosties. Um, one sec, I need to talk to this. I, I'm running low on matches, so I've got to spare my time. There were th a stack of 32 matches in the kitchen. 
that cannot be anything other than a glitch where all the matches were spawning in the kitchen. That's the only thing I can think of. Because there weren't 32 before. Okay, time to go in the room. Okay, this is a scary room because it not it opened the door. Why is there a meat hook in here? Oh no, oh no. No, 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 no. Light the match, 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 light the... Oh, okay, okay, we're in a... We're in a Okay, we're in a sequence. But we can't light matches. Do I have to just wander into the dark? I don't want to wander into the darkness. Okay, okay. This room was different. Ooh. It was a dead space. A breach opened in the night. A world trying to mimic another. Where are we going now? Suppressed memories. Sadness. Illegality, poverty, Letting solitude. Fall into a trap was starting to be a bad habit. Okay, run to the next light. There. Where are you? Dizzy and dizzy. I had to go out as soon as possible. So throw yourself out the freaking window. There's another. Give me another light. There has to be another light. Okay. Cool. 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 Maybe he means this world, not... Okay, is, is there anything else? I just don't want to run into the darkness. Okay, okay, no, 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 get out of the... I'm, I'm starting to shake. I need to stay in the light. Oh, I don't want to do this again. Where, where am I supposed to go? There's no more lights. Okay, let's just run into the dark. Oh, booyah. <gasps> Oh, 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 not fair, not fair, not fair, no jump scares, no jump scares, who, what, Selena, what, where, where am I, you've got to be kidding me, you, no, okay, good, it started me from here, this room was different, Okay, at least I can speed through this part. It's a dead space. A breach opened in the night. A world trying to mimic another. Okay. Memories, maybe. Suppressed memories. Sadness. Okay, there we go. Got it. <sighs> that was jer that was a jerk move. Turning off the lights right when I was crossing. What's this over here? Okay, whatever. Let's let's play the piano. Selena! Let's keep playing! Selena... Selena's drinking. Hey, Selena. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, well, let's follow Selena. Okay, no problem. You are literally glowing a beacon. Oh, no. I had a feeling this was the case, considering Selena was a ghost, but I don't like seeing this. Was that what she wanted? Such a waste. Okay, what, well, what's with the bed? What's over? Ah, oh, crud. I should have run to the. Oh, shit! Come on, 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 come on. No, no, no. Come on, where the freak is the. F well, I'm dead. I want to run to the bed next time. What is this BS just running? Okay, fine. Speed run, speed run through the dark. It was different. It was a dead space. Come on. A breach opened in the night. A world trying to. Where are you? Memories made. Come on, come on. There we go. Suppress memories. Play the piano. Sadness. Get Selena. Come on, Selena. Let's go, honey. Lead me to the next area. I don't like this area. Just get out of here as quickly as possible. Come on. Okay, come on. Let's just walk in the... Yeah, I'm doing that. Okay, cool. Now this time, we'll run over here. Where there's an actual a light bulb. What did she say? 
I couldn't imagine her living in such memory misery. She had fallen so low. Why would I want to pull the light bulb? That's a bad idea! Put the freaking light again! Oh. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Hey, children's drawings. Wait, a book. William. When the moon appears at night, the shadows stop shouting. So I watch it as much as I can. Feel the warmth of my body. I talk to it so, so it would stay. When I stop watching, it's still here in front of my eyes for a while. As if it could stay in my mind. I believe there's a reason I love night more than day. Why would you like... like why would you like... Night more than day, when the spookity boos come out you at night. That doesn't make any sense. Even though the night is very dangerous because of the shadows. And because of Mother. If the moon could kill her, I might be saved. And the moon would take her place. I am only 12, and I don't want to die like that. In the dark. Oh, you're only 12, kid? Oh, jeez. Is this another William book? You gotta be kidding me. Just grab the freaking book. Wait, I have no more matches? What happened to all my matches? You've gotta be kidding me. No, 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 no. No! No, no, no! That is freaking not fair! Game! Why'd you take all my matches? I had like four more. <laughs> what are we going to do? How in the freak am I? How? I don't. I'm going to die. I am straight up just going to die. There's gotta be, okay, hold on, hold on, let's, let's look around. Let's look around, there has to be some mass. Uh, there has to be some matches, they wouldn't just, well, okay, more, hold on, there, there is. <gasps> the moon, how nice. From that hole I could see the moon. Could it be luck? Can I see anything else? Okay. There's another William. Oh, come on. There has to be. That's, that ha matches anywhere? Uh, according to the marks on the floor, the bed was moved off. And that's not helping my case. Oh, sh okay, hold on. Lamp, please work. Lamp. Oh, thank good. The door is freaking closed. Okay, please. No, 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 no. Um, okay. A pair. There's a locked cabinet. Why in the world would I. Okay, can I even go through this door? Okay. This is completely intentional. Still not fun. What is this? The tie of the painting was weak. Maybe with another blow? There was a painting covering a spy hole. Things are getting murkier and murkier. Oh, hey, look, I can grab this. A key! Cool! What was in the spy hole, though? Oh, there's a freaking... Okay, well, I guess I'm just going through here because this door unlocks. I wonder where this room go. Oh, hey, it's light in here. Let's go in here. A bathroom. Ugh. Oh, no, a mo no for Margaret. I found Henry arching on his bed, naked grasping the sheets as if they were chains. When Sarah entered, she screamed, He's possessed! I told her to wake up the servants and to go look for Dr. Rosenthal. She was too happy to leave. I came close to Henry. In the darkness, his eyes looked like two balls of mercury. The eyes of his son. He had scars all over his chest, inflicted by his own nails. 
He grasped the sleeve of my gown and hissed. There you... Ooh. He dragged me towards him, towards the obscene swell of his... Ugh. The past of the present were one, drawing a sinister bloody line to the future. He was lost, a wretched man like my father. I was doomed. God had turned his back on me. Okay. Again. Here's another twist. Where I'm like, okay, Henry's not like... Uh, like... Like, he was suffering from syphilis, but is that a... I don't know. I really don't. It makes me, um... More sympathetic to uh, Margaret, but she is actively trying to kill me, so not too much sympathy. Let's grab these. Cool, I have my matches back. What's in here? Uh-huh. More matches. Hey, lipstick. Cool. Um, toilet paper. A uh, French bottle of perfume. What's that? Goddess of fertility? Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. The label says cyanide. Not your everyday perfume. I don't think it is perfume, dude. Kind of a tool of a woman who needs in front of a mirror. Oh! Oh, okay, so we need to give this to Selena, because Selena's in front of a... Oh, hey, hold on a second. Let me, let me, let me, those six matches, give me. Thank you. What is this, Margaret? Oh, this is the... Oh, wait, this is a different one. This is a different one. It happened tonight around 1 a.m. The house was quiet. Sarah had taken William to bed after dinner, and Henry had left the living room around 10 p.m., Saying he was tired. I thought we were past trying to forge excuses. I was painting in my room when I heard the yell. My heart stopped. I thought it was a delusion, but the yell resonated once again. A yell of ancient fear. Reaching out from the abyss. A door that I thought locked for good just slammed open in my mind. And behind it was a frightened child who thought her father was coming back from the dead to take her. I quickly pulled myself together. I went out in the hall. The yells were coming from Henry's room. William was awake and about to enter his father's room. I sent him back to his bed despite his tears. I knew too well what was waiting inside. Okay, well this is the point where Henry is dead. Broken glass. Okay. Um, let's go back in here because we can. And we should be able to read that book over here. I don't like using matches willy-nilly, but I really want to find out the rest of the story. And there's two things in here. The voices came back. This is from William. The voices came back one by one. I thought I was forever free. I was so naive. The corruption runs too deep. I had to do it again tonight. There's a new girl downstairs tied up on the... Ooh, my mother's throne. Her hair is black as mother's. Give me the shivers, but they justify the killing. I only touch her when I'm wearing gloves. I need to polish my approach. The first time was too brutal, too rash. Luna is subtle. She knows blood is precious. One cannot pour it out of rage or fear. The act has to be fully conscious. Using drugs, as some Indian tribes do, could amplify my perception of the ritual. But importing them will take some time. In any case, Luna is weak tonight, but she is still there. Waiting. Curious to see me act. Okay. So he... Um, there's another thing from here. Drank too much, woke up in the storeroom. I was holding the knife so tightly that it released from me from my scream. I had a dream. When I was a kid, she locked me up in that room all the time. That night, the dark and moonless night, cold fingers are touching me. Their nails as sharp as blades. I hear their relentless voices swirling inside the house and see their empty eyes. I am 13. I start to scream. Mother opens the door and starts shouting at me. I try to escape. She pushes me back. Her glass of wine breaks in her hand. Blood flows, drops on the ground. A silver beam crosses the skylight and falls upon the red blood. Luna reappears fully in the sky. 
Mother steps back, and for the first time I see fear on her face. She's afraid of me. I am afraid too, but shivering from excitement. Luna, that night I understood with what your favorite wine was. The wine that was flowing in the veins of woman with black hair that makes you shine. Ugh, okay, so it looks like he's fantasizing over the moon. It's kind of weird. What's in here? Astronomy books. The moon, craters, seas, and myths. Okay. This guy, uh, Henry, was definitely obsessed with the moon. I'll give him that. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I need to take a short... Oh, hey, there's a light switch here. Okay, that's what I thought it was going to do. Let's turn that back on. We need all the lights in this house. We can. I am going to take a short break. So, uh, in the meantime, just uh, bear with me. Welcome back. Ooh, let's um, let's hop back in, shall we? And let's get some. Why? Okay. Okay. Cool. Can I? Can I? Ah, freak! I want to get rid of my match. Okay, I don't want to. Okay, there we go. Perfect timing for once. Okay, let's open the door. Light a match. And go into the darkness. Oh! <gasps> Fudgeicle. Oh, no, 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 please, no, please, no, please, oh, freaking these guys are getting a lot more aggressive. Uh, oh, sh she is actually chasing me the distance. She is chasing me the distance. I mean, the one. Press the friggin' light! Press the friggin' light! Selena, protect me, please! Whoo, okay. That's what I thought. You need the. Oh, man. You needed a hairbrush. Oh, I hear bugs. What was her story? Her beauty. Her light. They didn't match the sadness in her eyes. We were bound. She was trying to guide me, to draw me to her. Like a dream which has to be dreamt just to be. She had helped me stay alive until now. This was more than enough to want her presence. Uh. Uh. Oh, shh. Okay, thanks, lady. Can I go in this? Ooh, secret door. Best part of Halloween, Michael, free candy. I got a taste worth of chocolate in a freaking bat bucket. Oh man. Uh, okay, first let's see if we can turn on this light again. See, like Halloween, usually, yeah, right up my alley. I love the, uh, the switch didn't respond, yay. Um, but I had just given up, uh, I'm trying the Whole30 diet, so one of the big things is no sugar. Oh, something just... I don't like that. Is this Jesus on the wall? It was probably Margaret's room. The br Oh, why am I in Margaret's room? Margaret. William grows well. He was has the pale skin and the weak health of his father. I watch him carefully. He's very quick for a two-year-old boy. I stimulate him with all sorts of tests and experiences to elevate his soul. Turner's paintings put him in a very strong state of excitement. Bach delights him. He likes things bitter, strangely, and he looks intensely at a picture of Jesus. I try reading inside him. I try to make sure this is all worth it. Will he be strong enough to be one of the pillars of this world? God, give me the faith to fight all these doubts. This morning I saw in his eyes a glimpse of light which reminded me of my father. 
his eyes like two pits of a glimpse of light which reminded me of his eyes like two pits of darkness are too deep I don't like it they scrutinize your soul looking for a breach I seize his arm to make him stop and then I saw Henry watching me from the door he keeps me under watch every time I'm with the kid what a way to talk about your child Oh no, I am not going to try to open, I can't open that unless I find some, okay, can I stop this from banging? Storm was coming, oh fantastic, hey more, cool, however storm means bad freaking things, it means things are going to get blown out, grandfather clock, each second was like a victory, but not necessarily for me. Can I turn on this light? Old kind of lamp. No switch. Okay. I need both hands free to do that. What is what is this? Pull something shut? Oop, there's a note. Note to self. Sabotage. Electrical light kills the shadows. These dark doubles of Margaret figured it out. And now they regularly sabotage any electrical apparatus. So that the wiring trips in the middle of the night. With this cruel game, they are trying to wear me out. And it is working. I almost no longer sleep. Fantastic. Oh, I just read that. Oh, that's a body. That is a body. Okay, I don't like bodies. They aren't very nice. Okay. Let's read some more from Margaret, shall we? Why did Selena lead us in this room? Henry died today. His last word was for William, whom he called in a whisper. He asked Sarah to play a jazz record before he passed away. Nothing would surprise me anymore. After a number of meetings with the managing board, I will officially assume duties at the Vesper Manufacture. I already noticed a number of issues in the management of the company, all linked to Henry's romantic nature. I think I can clear most of them and improve the benefits. We will change the strategy and prepare for the future. Vesper should not be the brand of the poor anymore. Hmm. Now this is interesting, because we found out earlier that after Henry's death, the company just spiraled downward. Was that because of Margaret? Because at the time, the CEO was William in the note we found previously talking about the descent of the company. Did Margaret put it, put it in a... Oh, is that a freaking... The lamp wire was going under the bed. I had to follow it. No, you didn't. No, you don't. Please turn on the light. Margaret and Henry, the cursed owners of the domain. Oh, the wind is gonna be freaking. Many dark thoughts are. I can't push that. Please, please don't. Please just, just don't, don't. You've got to be freaking kidding me. Ah. Uh... Please don't react. Please don't react. Please don't react. Please don't react. For a second, I thought it was cut. Okay. But no. Oh, freaking stupid camera angles. Okay. Can we kill? Uh. Where did the ghosty go? Okay, well first, I don't know where the ghosty went. She just disappeared. She, She's in the rocking chair. Gosh darn it. Okay, don't worry, we'll just pull the curtain. We'll pull the curtains. Okay, can I? Thank you, actually. The, the, the light tends to go out when I need it to. Cool, okay. Now, we can get this teleporting son of a jerk. 
I'm in the light still. Where did she go? I, I, I didn't kill her yet. Um, what was the other thing I needed to interact with? <gasps> that chest. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Shit. She's gotta go after the light. As soon as I open this, the light's gonna, gonna die. Just watch this. I wanna go deep down. I'm gonna go look in. The light's gonna give out. Why is there a skull here? There is a human skull in here. Covered modern valuations in fashion. Nope, nope, no comment on the skull? Okay. How about we grab the key and then watch the light immediately shut off? Nope, oh, there it is. Match, match, match. Oh, hi. The door is freaking locked, isn't it? Watch, watch this. The door, is, the door is locked. Yeah, the door is locked. So the only answer is... Oh, no. I didn't move the bookshelf when I had the chance. Crap. I might have to redo this all over again. Cause if I go over here and to the switch, there's gonna be a ghosty goo. Uh, on. Can I push the button again? Oh no. Fudge, 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 fudge. Fudge, 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 fudge. Oh shit, did Move! Move, 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 move! No, no! <laughs> that is freaking not fair. <laughs> Though dying is a little bit funny and ridiculous. Where's my last save? Oh, you've gotta be freaking kidding me. This oh. Was it was a dead space. A breach opened in the night. I just wanted to go and s I should have saved when I had the chance. There was a save point in that room. Suppress memories. Sadness. <sighs> okay. Well, I'm gonna try to race through this and get back to Selena. And then I'm probably gonna save and then end it, but it's it's gonna take a little bit to get over there. You're gonna have to get through the puzzle room again. <sighs> okay, at least nothing's super Okay, cool, follow you. Okay. Go this way. That way's a trap over there. Light off. Light on. Go over here. Turn on the lamp. Open the Oh, I can push the bed now. I don't have to collect the notes again, do I? Do I? Will they will they ring back up on my notes? Nope, no, no, it does not pop in my notes again. Okay, let's open this. Cool, another blow. I still don't know why there's a meat hook in there though. I, I do not know why there's a meat hook. Thank you. Meh meh. Get the key. Go into the bathroom. And there is light. Let there be light. Let's grab these matches. And we will grab uh, these matches over here. Oh, no, 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 these matches over here. Grab, grab, grab. Get the, the matches out of the darkness, thank you. <laughs> Stocks for the winter. I got a hundred matches, apparently. Do you remember how far you are into this game? I don't know how long this game is. Um, we could actually check. We're on chapter three, I know that. So if we pause and actually go look at the achievements real quick. Um, uh, actually, I don't think you'll be able to see my Steam. Yeah, you can't see my Steam overlay. 
Let me go look at the achievements, because you get an achievement for every chapter. Um, we're in chapter 3, and there are achievements for 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we're about halfway through the game. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This, I thought this game was actually shorter than it seems to be. Mm. I've never actually beaten it before. Oh no, please tell me I don't have to put out the freaking light. But okay, good. I've, never, I've played like the opening sequence. Oh, freaking freaks, a, freaks, a, freaks a lot. Okay, run this way. Yeah, I, I'm stumbling. Run, 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 freaking run. And we should be able to get away, no problem. Get in the door. Just get in the door. Turn on the light with Selena. And give her the brush. At the rate you're going, you'll be done by next Monday. Hoping to that. the sadness in her eyes you know it's probably gonna be a couple more Mondays because like a dream if um, you remember chapter one the prologue was getting freaking into the house which didn't take a lot of time at all I got in the house and boom it was done so that was that was fairly quick but you're right it shouldn't be it shouldn't be too much for give me light give me give me light Give me power. Give me that which, which I desire. Okay. Now, what I should have done is I should have gone over here, freaking light this candle, and then go take a nap in the chair. Oh, I can't believe I lost all that progress. Mm. Okay, at least it's easy progress to make because I know what to do. I don't know how to get past Mother Ghost, though. I'm curious. I think I spawn with four matches every single time, but I don't know. Oh, shoot. Why did you go out? Why did you go out? This is going to be a problem when I spawn back in the game. There better be freaking matches in here when I start. Okay. Thank you for joining me tonight, Pumpkin, so I wasn't completely alone. <sighs> Jeez, there was a... You missed a jump scare, and it wasn't... It was Selena who jump scared me. She just came out of nowhere. Freaking... Scared me to death. Anyways... Um, I'm going to be going back to Switch games on Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, so yeah, that'll be Mario Odyssey. And then we'll get back to Spoopies on Monday. I'm going to try to play through the weekend as well. Thursdays and Fridays are a new go, unfortunately. Anyways, thanks again for joining me tonight. Hope you have a good night, and uh, hopefully you get your video done for, um, your video work done and your paperwork for your classes. Good luck with that.